West Brom want Grady Dien Garner on loan for a year, a season, it has to be said. I've just seen the article on Claret and Hugh, who are in turn a quote in Football London, and when I initially saw it, I thought, no, you can't have him. You're not having him. Why did I think that? Because he's had a really good pre-season. Maybe not in the same... Um, form as Lanzini or Wilshire, but let's not forget they've been able to play from the start of games. I've been mean, starting. Uh, Dian Garner's been coming off the bench, so he's not had the same opportunity to shine, but I do think when he has come off the bench, he has shone. Forget a penalty miss, these things happen. But I think he looks sharp, I think he's looked incisive, and I think he looks a player reborn. Now when I say a right player reborn, last season when he got into the team, but he was electric. He was playing without any fear at all. If you remember, Yarmolenko was injured. Uh, Lanzini was injured. Nasri hadn't been signed at that point. So the creative burden of the team was placed on the shoulders of Felipe Anderson. So when Diangana came in, it gave us another outlet. And I thought he relished. As I say, he was taking players on. He was really going for it. And was it was a real danger. And we just unearthed another player from the academy on what was a very, very fruitful season from that aspect of players coming through. However, as the season wore on, I felt the weight of the world seemed to rest on his shoulders. He seemed to seemed to be doubting himself. He didn't play with the same fearless confidence that he had. I thought he retreated into his shell a little bit and I didn't think he finished the season well, albeit he wasn't selected as much as, as he was at the start. But um, I thought there was a slight drop off. Now, because of that, I was pleased to see him in pre-season come in and do very, very well. But now thinking about it, maybe a lone move to West Brom wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. Yes, he's in good form. Yes, we like what we've seen in pre-season, but the first team seems to have itself set in stone. We know that Lanzini, Fornals and Anderson are going to be taking those attacking three positions behind the striker. If one of those guys gets a knock, or we're looking to shake it up tactically, what's Pellegrini going to do? I think Pellegrini's probably going to call for Antonio off the bench. If he doesn't, he's probably going to call for Yarmolenko. So, Dian Garner might not even make the bench. So, with that in mind, would it not be a good idea to send him out on a year's loan to West Brom? I think he's got the talent. I think he could do it. It's very important that when you send somebody out on loan that you know they're going to get games and you know they're going to be playing within a system that will suit them. Well, the club have got a very good relationship with Billich, or at least I hope they didn't sour it at the end. So I would hope that Pellegrini can speak to Billich or Husslos can speak to Billich and say, look, you can have him on loan, but we need to make sure he features. We don't want a situation where we've had previously where players go away on loan and they don't even get into the first team. They just sit on a bench. It's pointless. Him going to West Brom and not playing for West Brom, in essence. We also know that Bilic plays a fantastic attacking brand of football. How many times we see it in Bilic when he was chasing the game? He just chucked on forward after forward, as many attacking players as he could. And I think his confidence as a manager, his man management, the way he puts a, his arm around players, the way he makes players feel like they're, um, they're a million dollars... I think will really be a huge boost to Grady. And I've actually changed my mind. My initial reaction was, no, let's keep him. But I do feel that we would have the benefit of a year's experience at championship level. I think he'd be very effective at championship level. And I think he would improve. I think in his season's time, we'd be getting back a better player than we let go. There is one caveat, though. There is one thing I would like to see put in place. And that is a recall option. If it's a year's loan, I want the option to bring him back in January. And that is purely because Yarmolenko's injury record, both of us last season and at Borussia Dortmund, does not inspire confidence. And if he breaks down, we're going to need to be able to perhaps recall Grady Diangana. And I think Grady goes, then actually we do have Nathan Holland there, who is more than capable of filling in until then. And maybe if he gets his chance, he'll take it as well. Let me know what you think in the comments below.